Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome to Desert Skies. So this is a game kind of like, in theory, like Raft. If you're familiar with Raft, you're floating along, collecting stuff, expanding your raft. Well, in this one, you're in a hot air balloon and you're not in the ocean, you are going over the desert. So the starting area here, there should be some, uh, some junk on the ground that I can collect before we take off. We got ourselves a hammer. Looks like we got some things in here. Got a bandage, some nails, some wood. It's going to give us like a few things to get started here. Looks like a little water skin action, some more nails, rope. Now, as you go along, as you go along, you can actually land in the desert and collect things. Let's see if it's going to allow us to add some fuel. I feel like I'm missing something. Okay, there's a couple more things here. Some wood. So it does give you a little highlight action. Showing that you missed some of the goods and services. There we go. Alright, so we're taking off. So I'm going to give you guys the basics here up front. Show you a couple of places. Give you an idea what this game's all about. So, you can see we are now taking off. We don't have that much stuff. Actually, we don't have much of... We have a l one food, one water skin, a bandage. Now, you can land down here if you want. If you have a axe or a pick. And you can start collecting stuff like trees and fibers from the cactus. There's also some rocks down there where you can get some ore. So you want to keep an eye out on that. But every once in a while, you're going to come across some sort of either a town, a little wagon circle, maybe a, a teepee. And you're going to want to land and go and loot everything that's in there. And that's how you start really building your stuff up. So you got to you want you got to kind of you can kind of see where all the orange is right now. See, there's some orange there, a couple things in there, a lot of stuff in there. Now. Here's the big thing. There's this thing called the Seeker. It's a dune worm or something. And as soon as you start making a lot of noise, that Seeker comes out and chases you. Now, eventually you can kill him. You can kill him. But you've got to get all your stuff up to where you can make a gun and make golden bullets. And it tells you later on in the story how to do this. And the story's really short right now in, in the early access form that it's in. But for me, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. Now, quickly what you're going to want to do early on is you're going to want to make a few things. And this is my, this is my tip. So you got a hammer here. So we got this hammer. We got some food. You can cook the food and it gives you, um, <clears throat> It gives you a lot more than if you just eat it raw. So I want to show you real quick here in the building. What you want to do early on is get yourself. You obviously have to build some more platforms so you can do this. But then you're going to want to get a sleeping bag going. Because if you die, the sleeping bag will spawn you back on your ship. And then you can just run back over where you died and pick up all your stuff. If you don't, it'll. I think it reverts back to your last save. Once you get a sleeping bag, you're one going to get the workbench going because then you can start making some of the basic stuff. Then from there, you go smelter, blacksmith, grill, and finally lab. And then you've got a small and medium storage options. That's what you're going to want to do. So don't get all crazy building your ship really big, your airship really big early on because it, you're going to die. <laughs> you're going to die. Now, I'm making noise opening... All right, so I'm thirsty, so I'm going to have to drink my water that I have. So you're going to want to uh, pick up all the loot that you can. And there's some things to read inside the different places. Some of the things will give you hints as far as what's happening at that facility. And some things will just give you some weird little anecdotes. So you want to try and get everything you can. Now, <clears throat> there's a well there in the middle. I should have looked at that. But you can drink from the well, and eventually you can make a canteen, which you can then fill up at the well. And that's good. That's a good thing. Now, as you open and close doors, you're making noise. As you're walking around, you're making noise. And the more noise you make, that seeker's going to come out. Oh, 
Jeez, that was a lot of noise. But there's some nails there, and nails are super handy. Now, when the Seeker comes out, it changes your whole game. You can't just sit around here and, you know, easily collect stuff. You, That's like a rug. You can pick those up sometimes. Cup. You gotta, you, what you gotta do is clue into what the things look like. Then you'll know as you're looking around what you can actually pick up and what you can't. All right, it looks like I've been collecting some stuff and looks like the Seeker is coming out of the ground. So we're gonna wanna get inside and I'll show you what this Seeker looks like. Ooh, there's some water skin. Show you what I collect. Oh, jeez. All right, he, just, he actually hit me with that. My health is less than half. Okay, so I do have a bandage. I've got some water skins. I've got some food. So I've got this bell. This cactus fruit is also some food. So I got some rope, some nails, some wood, some stone, and one piece of coal. As soon as I picked up that coal is when he knew I was here. That's when he knew I was here. I'm going to go ahead and use my, my bandage now. And I'm hungry too. Sometimes before you can actually craft your cooking station on your airship, you might find one in the town or the area that you're at and you can cook the food up that you have it gives you i think a cooked can gives you like 50 percent where the other one might would give a lot less oh shoot wow he really lapped back there quick didn't he Ooh. now there's a lot of stuff here that i'm probably gonna miss because he's here so look at this there's a workbench here and this is what we want to make on our ship so we can craft a stone axe, which is going to be really helpful to get uh, wood out in the desert. We're going to need wood, rope, and nails. That's the stuff that we're really looking for early on to craft better platforms and then to craft the things that we need. Once you get, the, once you get this, you can use fibers to actually craft rope with. Now, I do have a bell. This is only going to let me craft the stone axe. So you can craft a noisemaker with this bell later on. You can throw it out, and he then, the seeker will then pay attention to that. There is an upstairs to this place. Ooh, I don't think he can climb stairs. Okay, so just food. Just one thing of food. That's okay though. I'll take one thing of food. So if we take our axe and put it down here, can't actually collect that. The only thing that kills that dude is the golden bullet, so don't even try and fight him. Looking to see what. There might be something back over there that I need. And I don't want to use my water skins. I want to drink from the well before I leave. But because the Seeker's out, you're going to want to drink really fast. Oh, he's on me. He's on me. I don't know if you can straight out run him. And a little rope act. Oh, can I get in there? Dude. Loot! Right, we already searched that. So I started here, went through that, went through the saloon, went through there. I didn't get the outside of that or the outside of the trading post. Looks like there's some nails right there and nails right there. Those would be good to have. He has a little progress bar like on the top. There's a water skin. A bar on the top, and that is an indication how much he can see you or hear you. You have to be pretty close to. Like to get those nails and stuff. Oh, 
Yeah, he totally heard me there. Oh, shoot! Okay. He's really crafty. Now, you can crouch. You can crouch. I don't know how much it helps. It's an arrow. Oh, shoot! Ooh! <laughs> I'm looking for anything out here. There's like a lot of debris. He sees me. I wanted to get some of this fruit if I could. Nope, I think I missed it. Oh shoot, he's right on me. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. Oh, I think he took a bite out of crime. All right. So while we're on our ship, we can go ahead and make, we'll extend this uh, platform, maybe. Okay. What are we looking at? One nail. Rope. Now we're out of wood. We're out of wood, which isn't good because this thing f burns wood or coal. Now we could use the coal that we have. We want to get all of that stuff. There's something up top, but it's not actually showing anything up there. Now, before we do that, let's go ahead and make ourselves a sleeping bag. And we'll put it right here. There we go. So, we got ourselves a sleeping bag now. Now we got to go collect a bunch of stuff. It's really about collecting and get, getting out of Dodge. You just get your stuff and get out. What else can we find? There's a tree there. As soon as you start banging on a tree, and you gotta watch those little rocks. Those little rocks make noise. And it's a good way to uh, to call in the seeker. What's in here? I just saw something. A bucket, a tin, some nails up top, two different chests. Oh, look at that, a stuffed parrot. <laughs> You can decorate my thing with that. Jam, little stuffed parrot. All right. Just keep an eye out for those small rocks. Those will really get you. Now, you can sometimes pick up stuff just by looking in there. You can see I'm starting to fill up my inventory. So, another thing you can make, you know, there's a brazier. You can make is a storage chest. Is another thing you want you can actually make. Oh, there was a water skin right there. You gotta really look for the stuff that you're trying to. So here's a little little note talks about what happened here. <laughs> that they uh, somebody hijacked them. Another water skin right there. And an ingot mold. So early on, things like the ingot mold the brazier, the bell. Once you have your blacksmith, you can actually make that stuff, but you need to find it initially because it takes those pieces to make the things. And you can find it. You just got to look for it. You really got to look for it. All right, I just walked across that stuff, which was really bad. And I'm working on getting this wood here because I know there's another tree closer to my airship that I would like to get. That's That right there is what it looks like when the seeker comes out of the ground. Get this wood here. We're still really low on wood. Get what wood we can and get back to our ship. I think once you're on your platform, he doesn't attack you. It's like once you're on here, you're okay. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit around and wait for him. What I like to do is I like to Get back to my airship, get out of town a little bit, land again. If you're on the ground and don't step off your platform, you can do all your building and stuff and then go out and collect and then take off again. So something to keep in mind. All right, so we have we have a tree there and a tree there. There's two trees here and I'm out of wood. So I'm actually landing automatically right on top of this tree and the tree just disappeared because I landed on it. Now, let's see if we have enough to make 
All right, we have enough to make the workbench, which is a good thing. All right, so R and F to rotate. It's pretty touchy on the rotation. Put that right there. Now, we can make rope, bandage, noisemaker, stone axe, stone pick, which we want to make right now, and I'm hungry. We want to make a stone pick so we have it. Takes a little while to craft stuff. Takes a little longer than you think. All right, we'll take this number three. See if we can put it down somewhere. <laughs> so this actually takes up space. Like if I put it right here, I won't be able to put anything else there. So, you know, I'll probably just uh, dump this thing. Throw it over there because I don't need that right now. Now, if I can make a storage chest, that would be good. I can make a small storage chest. So let's make a small storage chest. We'll put it right here. Because we've got some things like the bell, the bucket, the ingot mold, the brazier. These are things that we're going to need to... Uh, to craft some of the other work, like the blacksmith and, and all that stuff. Let's see, I got food, I got food. That thing and that thing we can put in there. You want some space in your inventory when you're searching for things. All right, so that tree's pretty far up there. What you wanna look for is little piles of, of stone like that is where you can get iron ore and sometimes you can get gold. But you gotta look for them as you're flying across. All right, looks like we're coming up on a farmhouse here. So I've made a couple stops in the desert just to get some, some wood and stuff. If you look, you can see there's, you can see there's some stuff out there, stuff in the barn, a lot of stuff over there, a few things in there. So what we need mm. is we need to eat and I think there's a there's a well over there, so let's go to that well and drink without hitting our water skins, even though we have five water skins. So we need to get going on making the ingot smelter and the blacksmith because we need to be able to make uh, make all this stuff, and most importantly, we need to be able to make nails. We need to be able to make nails because they are the hardest to find, so... Look at that, we found an anvil, couple nails. There's another ingot mold. I already have an ingot mold, so I don't need another one. Um, you will be able to make ingot molds once we get all that going. Another parrot. Some food, which is good. Another brazier, we don't need. Actually, we could use another brazier once we get to making the cooking part. Now, it doesn't combine, like, I'm having to drag and combine some of this stuff. So you want to keep an eye on that. If you start finding it, figuring out that you are uh, getting full, you can combine some of your stuff. So we've got a brazier, this. I was able to get some iron along the way. Now, you can, there are things inside here. But what you, you got to be really careful in here because... You could get stuck in here, and I thought I saw something like in this corner here. Oh, here we go. Read and another bucket. I don't think we need another bucket. Let's get out of here. We want to get uh, enough nails. Well, it'd be nice to be able to make both. I wish you could pick this up. There are some things you can get in this game that you can mount like a trophy. So that's pretty cool too. So these nails are really good. Nails are really good to get. Rope. I don't know if there's anything up here. I know there's still some stuff on the outside. Over here. So, there's a rug. There's some alcohol. There's another thing to read. Get 
read that. I think that might be it for this area. Okay, so... He spawned in there. Now, he's got to go around the fence. There he comes. He had to go around the fence. He can't just jump over. So there are some times you can run a little, uh, run a little circle strategy on him. I think we're gonna have enough to make our. Let's get out of here first. See ya. See ya. We'll go out here in the desert. Let's see. So all we need is our ingot mold, which is in there. What I'll do is I'll fly up here. I try to see if there's like. I'll land if there's like two trees in close proximity or if there's a tree and an iron ore or gold ore type pile that's worth landing or if you run out of fuel I just ran out of fuel see that area right there there's like three trees there this right here will be a good area to land as long as I don't land on the tree it'll disappear and if you're quiet enough you can go even out there and get those trees Oh, don't land on the double trees. All right, good. All right, let's get our uh, let's get our ingot mold. Okay, we got our ingot mold. So now we're going to make. See, in order to make this, you need iron ingots. The blacksmith. In order to make this, you need iron ingots. In order to make this, you need iron ingots. What does that mean? And in order to make this, you need iron ingots. It means you need to make the smelter so you can make iron ingots. <laughs> it kind of. Kind of lets you know, we'll put this right about there. All right, perfect. Now, we do have some iron, so we gotta add some fuel to this, and we can start making the iron ore that we have down into ingots, and with those ingots, we can start making other things. Before you start doing craziness, you really wanna get the blacksmith going, because then you can start making nails. And, and you can make gun parts and things like that. Once you can make your nails, now you're now you're in business. It's things like nails are one of the big things that sets you back. And rope. But because we have this, we can make rope with the cactus fibers that are everywhere. So you land, you get cactus fibers and wood, you can make your rope. You got wood, rope, you get the iron ingot, you get the iron, raw iron, and you make ingots, then you can make nails. And then you can just build and build and build. So with that, we used up all of our raw iron that we had, and now we have five ingots. Now, if we look in here, we need a brazier, and we have one because, luckily, I did grab both braziers. So the cooking, uh, to make the, like, the campfire cooking thing, you're going to need another brazier. Well, once we make the blacksmith, we can use that. Can these stack? No. We can use that to make our... Uh, we're gonna need that to make our blacksmith, which is what we're gonna do right now. So blacksmith or the grill. See, the grill needs a brazier as well as the blacksmith. Once you make the blacksmith, you can make a brazier. You don't have to go looking for them anymore. So with this now, we can make nails, we can make a bell, we can make a canteen, which if you find a well, you can fill up your canteen can make a knife. I'm hungry. Make a knife. Revolver. Revolver cylinder. Bullets. Iron bullets. I don't know why you would right now in the game. You can make the brazier right there. A bucket. A ingot mold. Again, I don't know why you'd want to make that stuff now. Because once you have it, you don't need it. And you need it to be able to make this. So it's, it's kind of strange how it works in reverse. But... I think if we make a, um, let's add some fuel to this, which we're out of wood. So let's go get wood. That's what we landed here for anyway. Gonna get some wood. If we make our, uh, our cooker, we're gonna utilize these cans better and actually be able to get more food replenished per can. Cause the, the food and water, they're pretty scarce. You gotta really uh, take advantage of that. All right, I'm gonna take a chance and run over to this tree here. Really, if he spawns over here, which he kind of, I think in the desert, I don't think, oh, you can get the down trees. I think he spawns by you. So if you're out away from your airship, it's okay. He'll spawn by you. 
like that, and then you just run back to your airship. I'm pretty sure you can outrun him, but don't look back. Don't look back, because it's super scary. All right, let's get out of here. Put another fuel on the fire. Now, we got that in there. Now here, if we want to make another brazier, we can get this food going. But I only have one iron ingot because I made this. So we need to keep an eye out now for more ingots. So it's it's always like a work in progress. That's what's so cool about the game. That little pyramid thing there with those red dots, that's the iron. That's the iron right there. So let's go get that. It's actually really easy to see the iron from the sky. You can see it's this little, you know, pyramid shape thing. And it's got the red dots on it. Now, some of them that are a little bit flatter than this, they aren't as tall, will have gold. It's, it's a lot more rare earlier on in the game, but as you advance farther down, there'll be uh, better and better ways to get gold. Then once you have enough gold, you can make golden bullets. But you have to get to a certain point, it will, uh, you'll be able to unlock the schematic to make golden bullets. Right now, we can't make golden bullets. But we can craft some more ingots. So I'm a, wanna get, I'd like to get this food going, which is really important. Okay, add more fuel. Now you can get coal along the way, and I think it'll probably be more important later as they expand the game out. Right now, uh, wood is wood is the easiest thing to replenish. I mean, actually, fiber is the easiest thing, but landing in the desert getting wood is, is fairly easy. Especially if you need, like, oh, I need five wood. We'll just land and go get some trees and come back. So we're crafting this brazier because we're going to then craft our cooker. And we need... Oh, okay, so I need another ingot for it, and I need it to make the brazier. So once we get another ingot, we'll be fine. Let's take off. All right, so I was able to find just a couple more pieces of raw to make us another ingot. Now we should be able to make our grill. And with the grill, we'll put some fuel on here and we'll cook these cans that we have because we're due and I'll show you. You can see it goes about, it looks like about 50%, which is much better. I think it almost doubles the amount of food that you get if you cook the tins. So it is, it is worthwhile doing this. It's definitely worthwhile doing this. And I wait, you know, I'm not like, oh, it, it warns you that you're getting hungry until I hear go, ugh, you know, or I look up there and I say, oh, it's, it's definitely time to eat. Then I'll eat like right now. All right, here we go. So see about 50%. It looks like now we've been starting and stopping out in the desert a lot. I am down to just the one cooked food tin. I've got plenty of water, a lot of stuff here. It's good to take a quick look out there before you go in, kind of get an idea of, of where to go. We saw one thing out here, which is nails. Okay. Got some wood. Food, nails, rope. Okay. Saw something to the side over here. May have been in this cart. Yeah. Nails. Okay. And then there was some stuff out here. There is a well right there. So now if I would have made a um, canteen, I could have filled up at that well. But we can still drink. We can still drink from it and save our water skins. Save our water skins. I walked right into a wall there thinking I was going to go through. So here's a note. Tells him I couldn't protect you, couldn't protect her son. I don't know which outlaw it was, so I'm going to punish them all. So you can see that he's punished them all. There's a bell there. Drink the water. We can grab another bell. So the bells are good to make the noisemakers. 
if there's some like if there's some really good stuff in the town, it's worth making a noisemaker and chucking it so you can get the stuff, right? It looked like there was there was cans on there, but they were ready. Uh, they were ready eaten. Oh, shoot! I took an extra swing at that one. Get moving, man! All right, we're out. We're out. So as far as the uh, the building stuff, you guys, we've built the workbench, we've built the smelter, we've built the blacksmith, we've also built the grill. We haven't built the lab yet, and. I have not built the medium storage because I need more iron. All right, we got ourselves another town here. This time I've got two noisemakers. So we can go around the town. There's another of the ingot molds, which again, we don't need because one, we already made the thing. Two, if we do need one for some odd reason, we can make them now. All right, so we're gonna go around and see what this town's got to offer. Guns, dynamite, shotgun. They're just for looks. <laughs> All right. They're just for looks, but sh I sure would like to have that stuff. Mostly looking for uh, for food and nails. Food and nails. There's an upstairs to this place. So here's some food. A delish. I made uh, two noisemakers and I made three bandages. And you get the bandages by using the alcohol. And they're handy. I mean, they're handy. What is that? Okay, so you can read that if you want. Like I said, a lot of those things are this little snippets of something. something has happened. But some of them are tell you like hey you need to do this you need to do that one of them tells you how to kill the seeker along the way i don't see anything in this one you see these big areas and you think they're gonna be chock-a-block full and they're not bandage water skin It's like one little thing. So we got uh, food to cook. We got another bandage here. Water skin there. We have a well out there that we're going to drink from before we leave. So again, we're not going to be using our, our water skins. So even though I didn't make a canteen, I could make a canteen, but it takes iron. And I'm saving my iron for other things. So you can see, I think it seems to me... And uh, which is odd, but water isn't as hard to come by as the food is. And I say odd because we're in the desert. You'd think that it'd be water. But with these wells and stuff, and if you really maximize your water skins and drink from the well, that's everything in here. Oh, shoot. There's those little rocks. Those little rocks are... they're. They're really loud. So here's something to read. We gather today to mourn old Jim, founder of this town. Again, you want to read those things because they will indicate to you either what's happened. Hello, friend. Goodbye, friend. All right. So I've got everything made except for... Um, Except for, is that, that's coal right there. So I want to land right there. Um, the chemistry type bench. And somewhere along the way, you're going to find a dead seeker, right? And this dead seeker, you're able to grab it, research it. And that's what gives you the ability to get the, go the golden bullet schematic, right? And you need that to make golden bullets to then actually kill the seeker yourself. And that's that's so far that's what the game is all about. So you got to keep going until you see different areas like that. And I can tell you where I found it is where it was like a hollow in the ground and um there was a TP there and there was a dead seeker in a wagon. It's like he was attacking them in the wagon or something. 
and they killed him. Or they killed him and they put him in the wagon and they were trying to get him back somewhere so they could research him. <laughs> so that's that's what you'll find along the way. But as it is right now, um, I think I, it took me about two hours uh, to get through. But that was streaming. So I wasn't just like playing, 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 playing. I was talking and streaming and, you know, doing a lot of stuff like that. So there's not a ton of content right now. And but they've already added some things like some of the things that they added just since I got it was they added lattice and leave platforms and lattice and leave walls as well as la ramps that are made out of lattice and leaves. It's just a different look to the same thing. They also added this poker table and that shelf. So they did add some stuff already since since I bought it, which has only been a week or so. And somebody's hungry, so he's gonna eat. I'll grab this, and I should have more to put on here. And then there is, you wanna keep your eye out down here for these things, cause you wanna get your ingots going. You wanna get your ingot on, man. Now, when you land, you can see how some of the areas of the platform will actually be elevated. So before you leave your airship, know if it's flat or if you're gonna have to approach it from a certain angle. Some of these have a lot more iron on them than others. I found some with two and some upwards of six. Let's see how much wood do we have? 25 wood. We'll grab some wood while we're here because we're cooking some food and some iron down as well as our airship. Even though I've got coal, I've got coal. I actually used coal one, one time and I put it in the uh, I put it in the smelter and man did it I put it in here and it disappeared so fast it disappeared so fast so gonna keep cooking keep an eye out there we're cooking iron and we're cooking food Sure, I'm not missing anything. You got to really keep your eye out for what's what's upcoming because you don't you definitely don't want to miss one of those town places. All right. So just one other. Th Oops, that's not what I want to do. One other thing real quick before we go. I want to show you these things here. These de these are descenders. And basically what you do is that's how you build down and you can build down below. And I'll show you here at the end what my my ship looked like. Uh, at the end when I built a couple levels on it. It was pretty funny. Pretty funny looking. But that's pretty much the game, you guys. I'm gonna... I'll transition over and show you what the, what my ship looked like. But other than that, you keep trugging along and having fun. And I didn't get to use my noisemakers, but I think you guys get the idea. I really enjoy the game. Um, hopefully they put more into it where you can keep going. But it's fun. If you like Raft, if you like... Uh, if you don't mind early access stuff, this game's a lot of fun. Here's what my ship, my airship looked like once I completed the early access, the amount of stuff that they put into the game. Um, it actually ends and then you're able to continue on if you want. And basically what it does is it just randomizes the different places that you, that you can stop and you can keep gathering stuff. So I have a I have one upper layer with railing. I have one middle uh, layer with the lattice fencing. And then I've got <laughs> basically two more layers down here. I was just getting a little carried away of a uh, ramp coming up. But you can see I've got my little chemistry table down here. Then you go upstairs. This is where the this is where the real action happens. Your bed all that stuff. So this is what it looked like after I continued on and kept playing after the game ended. Got a fair amount of stuff. You can just keep going and going and collecting all the goodies. But once you've got all the, like the, you know, the stuff to make things, the brazier cooking area, your ingot molds and stuff, and your anvil, you can make anything you need to in the game. And it's super fun. So, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Well, that's going to do it for this. I just wanted to kind of highlight and show you guys this game a little bit. I did stream it and got to this point. It was really fun. I enjoy these kind of games. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.